Did you know that with a device as small as an ice cube, you can fully digitally enable your microscope? And I'm talking all digital pathology capabilities, including whole slide scanning. So in this video, I'm gonna show you this device and I'm gonna tell you about its capabilities and how to use it. Let's do it. I'm so excited that more and more companies are supporting us and there is a new sponsor in town, Smart in Media, the pathologist company. And they sent something that I'm gonna be working with and I definitely wanna show you. It's PathoZoom. What is PathoZoom, Alex? I've never heard of PathoZoom. Well, it shows a little bit here on the picture, but let me show you the content of this box. PathoZoom is a tiny little microscope camera that goes on top of your microscope and changes your microscope into a digital pathology station. Uh, other things that come in the box is the PathoZoom calibration slide, and of course, there are a couple of cables. So let's install this beauty on my microscope. So here we are at my microscope and the camera is already sitting right here. It's so tiny. I love how small it is. And the installation was super simple. You just mount it on your C mount and then you screw it in here. There is exactly one cable coming out of this camera to my computer, one USB cable. And that's it. We are connected. The rest is being done on the computer. The software that we're using is called PathoZoom Scan and Live View. Uh, this is also what this camera is called. And it's only waiting for us to put a slide on the stage. And I have a slide of a human finger, a cross section of a finger, so you'll see the bone. And we have two modes here, live view and scan. It also allows you to scan and I'm going to show you later how it works, but let's start with live view. So basically it's going to sh show you what I see under the microscope. So you don't even need to look into the oculars to navigate. Uh, I mean, <laughs> if I'm going to be evaluating this slide, I will just use the microscope, but the point here is to show this live view to someone who's not in the room, right? So what do we do? We click on broadcast and it gives us the option to start the broadcast. And once we start the broadcast, we have a link or we can do another thing. Um, we can scan this QR code. So I can basically now scan this with my phone is going to take me to the live view on the phone. This is so cool. Um, so let me close this, this. Uh, so what I basically did before I started recording this video, I shared it with a couple of friends and they were amazed and it was such a joy for a pathologist. But basically I have what I have on the screen right now on the phone. So I have the same thing. I have what I have under the microscope, I see it. On my phone and it's moving. There is a little bit of a lag, uh, but the cool thing is, OK, I can see on the phone, I can see my mouse. So I'm showing this area here, this epithelium here. Uh, somebody on the phone can see exactly the same thing. And uh, for example, oh, I'm interested in this area and I want to tell my person who's broadcasting to me. So can you zoom right here and I can provide annotations and here you will see those green dots that points me out to this very area. I can go to the microscope. Oh, you want to see this thing? Of course, we can have a look and see it. I focus and we see this is bone tissue and you basically can show this live without interrupting your flow if you want to have a live consultation. Uh, if you want to teach from the microscope, there are different applications. We're going to get into the application later, but this is the live view that lets the person who is uh, seeing what you're broadcasting interact with the slide and 
lets the broadcaster show what they want to show, ask their questions, or teach their things. So let's end the broadcast. So the other amazing function of Pathosum Scan and Live View is the scan function, right? So we were in the live view, and now we're switching to scan. And we can do white balance here. We click on a white spot. And we also want to do the dust correction. So we're going to find a field that can be corrected for dust. Maybe just here, like this. Okay. And we finish it. For the sake of speed, I'm just going to stay at 2.5x, but we can use any magnification. Obviously, the higher the magnification, the longer it's going to take us to scan, but let's try to scan this finger cross section at 2.5x. And here this this bar indicates that it's pretty sharp. The farther to the right, the sharper the image. And you can either do it looking into the microscope, which sometimes is easier for the pathologist, but you can also do it on the screen and then on the screen you will see exactly what's getting scanned. So let's start slowly doing it. And on the right you're going to be seeing our full image. I'm not going too fast because I need to practice a little bit, but you can go a lot faster. This camera is not as slow as I am. And this camera is actually the same um, has the same specs as the cameras that you can find in whole slide scanners. So even though it's tiny and it sits on your microscope, it's powerful. And it's done. You can see that it's scanned. We only scanned it at 2.5x, but how beautiful is that for a presentation or like an overview of a slide? I think it's amazing. What do we do now? We now save it and there are different options to save it and the cool option that I'm going to choose is that you can upload it. You can upload it to your Pathosum Scan and Live View account, which I already have set up. And, and if you get this camera, the Pathosum team is going to help you set this up as well. Finger. It already knows that I have the 2.5 objective. This is my resolution, so it has all the metadata of this scan is automatically populated and I just upload and it's going to ask me and it is already connected to my account. When you set this up, you just log in and it automatically knows that it's supposed to go and upload there. 100% uploaded and we can now just go to image URL and let's see how it looks. And we go directly to this image and we can zoom in. Obviously, if we zoom in very high, it's going to go beyond the resolution that we scanned it. But we have a whole slide image. We scanned it. We uploaded it. And we can do everything you can do with a whole slide image. You can measure it. And we're going to get a pop-up message that this is for research use only. Uh, but that's okay. It's going to prompt me to log in, which is fine. And we can see all my uploaded images. I already scanned the finger once, but this is the one that I just scanned. And we can keep viewing it. Drag and view. Let's try our pin annotation. Let's put the pin here. Testing the pin on the bone. And we save it. That's basically helpful if I want to share a description or ask a question. Um, I can make a shape annotation. Let's just make a free shape and I can write and save it. Very intuitive like any other drawing tool, intuitive whole slide image viewing. 
and we can zoom in here, rotate left and right, zoom in, zoom out, rotate. That's so cool. We can take a take a snapshot of whatever we think is relevant and it's going to prompt us to save. We can do measurements, we can measure length, we can measure area. The smoothest experience that takes you from your microscope to the scanned image I have ever experienced. When it comes to applications, basically everything that would require somebody to come and look through your microscope, but now it doesn't require them to come because uh, this is a remote live view. So for example, remote second opinion, very quick consultations, rows rapid on-site sample evaluation, sample adequacy evaluation. In my world of toxicologic pathology, in addition to just remote consultation, uh, which we also do all the time. I see it for uh, IHC evaluation for tissue cross-reactivity studies. So in the initial phase of the studies, the pathologist needs to evaluate the effectiveness of the run. And now with this live view option, they don't need to be on site anymore. They can be shown this remotely and, and the lab can get feedback immediately from somebody who doesn't have to be on site anymore. And this experience of sharing the stage of your microscope to any device, to the phone, to the tablet, is just so cool because it directly increases access to care. You can, you can contact and consult your colleagues wherever they are, right? And they always have a phone with them. So this makes pathology limitless. And when it comes to the scanning, basically it gives you the ability to digitize a whole slide image. I think having the freedom to do it from any slide you want that you're looking at for teaching, for consultation, for documentation, for collecting your special cases and that you later maybe upload to your slide library, having this capacity scanner grade camera on your microscope is really amazing. With this system, you can start your digital pathology journey wherever you are right now, even if you're currently only reading glass, but you want to have the geographical freedom or you need to serve multiple locations. This is the tool that gives you the flexibility, that gives you the freedom. No workflow disruption. With this camera, you start wherever you are, you start benefiting from digital pathology and you see where you want to take it next. Maybe that's it, or maybe you want to take the next step, but you don't have to digitize your whole lab all at once. Very handy. I like it a lot and it's going to stay on my microscope for the nearest future. And if you're interested in learning more about the system, there's going to be a contact form in the description of this video and you can fill it and either me or the PathoZoom team is going to get back to you with all the information you might want to know about this camera, the pricing, the setup, which is very simple and all you might want to know about this little device that is super powerful. So go ahead, fill the form to learn more, and I talk to you in the next episode.